What separates a good business venture from a great business venture? And how can you be the kind of leader that builds success that lasts the test of time? Simon Sinek, author of Start With Why, believes the answers to these questions is less about the what or the how and more about the why. When you start a business, the most important things are the what, the how, and the why. These components make up something the book calls the golden circle. The why is the bullseye, the how is the middle ring, and the what is the ring on the outside. The why is your vision, the mission that you stand for. It's basically the whole motivation for your business. The how is about taking action on the why. It's the practical steps you need to take in order to achieve your mission and bring your vision fully to life. The what is the most tangible part of the business. It's the product or service you're offering to achieve the vision you laid out in your why. Here's an example. Think about Apple. Their whole why is basically, we're different and we want to constantly be challenging the status quo. The way they do that, their how, is by making products that are well designed. Then, of course, the what are the phones, the computers, the watches, etc. But recognize it's not really about the what so much as it's about the why. And it's not just about keeping the why in mind at the beginning, at the root. You want the why to be the guiding force in every aspect of your business. Let's bring back the golden circle, but imagine it as a three-dimensional cone. At the top of the cone, you've got, can you guess it? Your why! And you can imagine that this represents your business's top leadership team. These are the people responsible for coming up with a killer why and spreading that message throughout the rest of the organization. The middle ring, of course, is your how. Imagine this ring as upper level leadership, not quite CEO status, but next rung down. Their job is to know the why deeply, but execute it through the how. Rounding things off, we've got your what. This is home to your standard level employees. When everyone in an organization is aligned, your cone becomes a golden megaphone, perfectly amplifying your company's mission. The last thing you wanna make sure of as you move forward with your business is to not lose sight of your why as you become more successful. The more successful you are, the more you expand, and the more distance your leadership team at the top of the golden megaphone gets from the daily aspects of your company. Once that happens, you're more likely to focus on the what or the how. This is called the split. Companies that split tend to stagnate. To avoid the split, pay constant attention to the state of your golden megaphone. Make sure that beautiful why continues to be the foundation that trickles down throughout the rest of your business. And measure the metrics that matter the most. Hint, those metrics ain't about money. Measure the level of belief you and the rest of your organization have in your company's vision. This is what will keep you successful. Finally, make sure any transition of leadership keeps the strength of your why intact. You need to train your successors to care as clearly and deeply as you do. If you keep your why strong and you put it at the heart of every decision you make with your business, you'll be a strong, steady pillar in a world of businesses with weak foundations. So stay focused and don't let your why die.